Make sure you look out for those designers in East Africa's ever-changing fashion landscape. Talking about East Africa, we recently went to Kampala and caught up with a media personality who is a flutist and mad about fashion. Good morning, Kampala. It's another beautiful day in the city. If you're going to be heading down Kampala... In a city as vibrant and busy as Kampala, it's always good to have a friendly voice on your morning commute. For more and more people, that friendly voice belongs to Seema Sabiti. Relatively new to Kampala's busy airwaves, this young lady has taken the city by storm and now not only presents one of Kampala's most listened to breakfast shows, but also runs one of the city's newest stations. In the process, she's making a serious impression on some of her colleagues as well. And she's good, she's, she's awesome, she's amazing, she's a different boss. She's a 21st century boss, she, you know. I'm very lucky in that I've gotten to work with really dynamic, really fun people, so it doesn't really feel like a job as such, it's just you know, having fun, but a little bit earlier on in the day than most people would do. Waking up at the crack of dawn to put a smile on the faces of the millions that commute to work every morning, it's surprising that this young lady has time to do anything else at all. Most challenging thing about my job, uh, wow, well, quite frankly, I'd probably say it's, you know, having to get up this early and still managing to look this beautiful, quite frankly. <laughs> but when she does have a bit of downtime, it's her time for friends and family. Saturday afternoons, I normally work till around one. Um, then I'll maybe catch up with the girls uh, for lunch, uh, go home, rest a little bit, and then usually go out Saturday night um, to, depending on what's going on, obviously. Cheers. Cheers. But usually Sundays, I tend to, to relax. Um, I'll usually be at home or visiting family, uh, you know, having Sunday lunch, that kind of thing. Um, doing some food practice as well, if I can. At a very early age, her own personality started coming through and definitely music um, was something she really enjoyed. I think um, mum's influence played a lot um, on that because mum loves music. She was always making tapes whenever we would travel as a family. Uh, I've been playing the flute for, well, since I was about 11 years old, actually. Uh, it was just a hobby. Uh, I love music, just obsessed with music. and. Uh, when I came back to Uganda, it was still just a, something I would do to relax or to de-stress. But a cousin of mine asked me to perform at his wedding. And after that, it just sort of exploded. Um, and I'd perform at different places, different hotels around uh, Kampala, uh, different functions, corporate functions and so on. Always smiling and always making people smile, Seema's infectious personality is one of her many interesting and quirky traits. Traits that made it a no-brainer that she would end up here. My earliest memory of her is uh, dancing to Jimmy Cliff, reggae night. She was about one and a half, she still had a bottle of milk, but as soon as she had a captive audience, she would dance and really enjoy, enjoy the music. Um, and of course, one of the all-time favorites of hers is Michael Jackson, even till today. And um, it's just amazing how much trivia knowledge she has about everything and anything to do with Michael Jackson. Um, so, because she grew up listening to that music, so. Really, it, it, to me, it doesn't surprise me that she's in the media and has a particular interest in radio and all things musical. Of course, like every woman who's in the public eye 24-7, it's about looking the part as well. So Seema's natural love for fashion is the ideal accessory to her hectic life. And here in one of Kampala's most exclusive boutiques, Arapapa, meaning butterfly, it's the perfect place for Seema to transform for one of her many evening events. Next time you're out on the town in Kampala, look out for this music lover with many talents. You might just be lucky enough to catch one of her incredible live performances. <laughs>